Hello people, I am Babyface Kawei, joined by Char Kirk, hey and we're looking at talking to Will Smith and Joel Edgerton, Edger, Edgerton, Edgerton, Edgy turn, Kenny Sebastian face to face. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while, it's from Kenny Sebastian's channel, but Achar keeps telling me, ah, we'll do that later. Today I say we do it today. So we're gonna do this today. It's not relevant, it's not trending, but I wanna look at it. Because I like Will Smith and I like Kenny Sebastian. I don't know who I like more. And you're ambivalent about Joel Edgerton. He's cool. He's fun. He's a white guy. Okay, here we go. Better than a comedian. Comedian in India. Will decide. Will decide. It's lovely to meet you. It's a great honor. I'm not flipping out. Right. No, no, no. Because we were flipping out when we first saw you. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, that's Kenny. Right. That's what I said to Joel. Oh my God. I'm done with my career. No, it was great. Sweet, so I saw the film, I'm not lying, like most people, I saw the film. Yeah, you watched it? I watched it, right. I loved the movie, okay? <laughs> like, when you heard about the premise, it is a like, pretty out there premise. Yes. What was your first reaction when you read it? You were like, should I take this up? Is this a gamble? Or you were like, ah, oh, this is gonna... Okay. I read it and then, you know, David was directed and, and yeah. you know, he said he wanted Joel. So we put it all together oh. and then we went out to the world with it and okay. everybody bid for it. Netflix. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Netflix was the highest bidder. So uh, I thought Joel did a great job at it. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. The day, that's really the only reason we do this. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, um, I was a little hooked when I when I read the script and I, I got to like page five. He's yeah. Australian? Yeah. And it said that uh, his character murdered a fairy and I was like, bro. <laughs> Yeah. What's gonna happen now? Like in all seriousness, the unpredictability yeah. of yeah. that, it's familiar elements mashed together. That happened in the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that R-rated sort of comic weird yeah, yeah. that anything was possible. So that's another great benefit of Netflix that you get to be wide open exactly. and do and say anything. That's exactly what I was going to ask next. That yeah. um, no, I, I read. I read. You want Will insane. to do it's and insane. say anything? Yeah, I know she will do. <laughs> because script has brilliantly kind of used the fantasy genre yeah. to like talk about like violence and race and yeah. like just. Just society in general, society, yeah. and because it's fantasy, everyone's disarmed. Like, yeah. hey, it's about fairies. Absolutely, like, yeah. It's about ox. <laughs> it's not about real people. That's what we do with comedy as well in India. Like, yeah. There's, there's a lot of shit you can't talk about in India. Yeah. But you Did make you a say joke. Shit? You say shit. Uh, oh, okay, so I'm, it's the last time I'm going to be outside for free. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm going to be arrested. Um, but yeah, comedy also disarms people, yeah. and this movie talks about a lot of things that people don't want to talk don't about. Don't want, right, But fantasy is like, eh, it's... Yeah. Okay, by the way, it's amazing how you don't look like yourself, like, at all, like, body language-wise. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, I kept looking at the, the character, your character in the film, and... You were attracted, you were attracted. I mean... You were looking, you are like, man, <laughs> if, if it I was could, Friday night... <laughs> <laughs> could get some of that off, <laughs> 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 And that was amazing nice. guys... I, I'm guessing it was a lot of improvised dialogue where you just keep yeah. shitting on him. Over and, over again. and I'm like, this is, you're having way too much fun. Yeah. Because you could play off how he looks and the character looks. Yeah, and yeah. Will just spent the whole time. I think it became a sport, right? Yeah, no, it gave me a run. You know, you know, to have an opportunity in the film to be a, little, a click up the social ladder, it was like, it was oh, spectacular. What are we talking about? <laughs> so now let's, let's play the game. Yeah, the game, I promise, is the best game ever made. Okay, the best yes. game ever made. Yes. Okay. Bright is coming on Netflix and it has a wonderful universe. Yes. Let's check the integrity of the universe. So Ox mm. can tell when a human is lying. Okay. Yeah. They can smell they can emotions. Smell yeah. Yep. They can smell understanding. <laughs> Joel seems like he's tired <laughs> you know of all the, the uh, press junkets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know pretty well. Could you, can you tell when Will's lying? Yeah. You can? All the time. Well, <laughs> okay. Can you tell when Joel thinks he's had stuff figured out? Like, like, I know this. Yes, absolutely. Cool. So this game is, Joel, yeah. you have to catch Will's bluff. Okay. okay. I'm going to yeah. show you stuff on a tray. Okay. Yeah. I'll reveal it just to you. Amazing. And yeah. then you have an option. Either you describe that weird object. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Or you make sure up. He has to tell if you're telling the truth or you're lying. It's going to be a great game. I'm yeah. definitely going to win. This game is called All Skin Tell. <laughs> well, I, gotta, I gotta not see this, right? Yeah. You gotta not see it. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank but you. you gotta keep your eyes open because you have to watch me. Yeah. You have to watch me. Joel, you have to oh. watch. You have to see me when I see it. Oh, okay. oh you're really going for it. Yeah, yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just yeah. know. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know what that is if I looked at it. Like, you'd have to tell um, me what that is. So, I guess, uh, okay, so it's red. 
and it is, uh, <laughs> it's already it's wet. Yeah. Um, and you'd never want to eat it. Um, you could wear it. You could. You probably wouldn't want to, but you could. Um, what do you think? Is this the truth? Is he's telling the truth. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Some kind of human organ. Uh, some kind of internal organ. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what. No, it's. A, oh! It's a <laughs> like that. Alicia. That's good acting. <laughs> that's good acting. Yeah, that's really good. You know right? the moment in the beginning you were like. You like this? Yeah. See, it's weird. I thought you were going to lie in the beginning, and then I thought, no, no, he's decided to tell the truth. Oh. That was what I decided to do. Yeah. Too that's much what character. I decided to do. But that's some acting shit that you. Like, will grow to. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? This is turning into my This is a though. lesson. This is a lesson. Okay. I'll get the next one for Joel. No, one for Joel. Okay. One for Joel. Let's do one for Joel. And see if he can get me. Okay. Okay. So you can either describe what it is, or you can, or you can make some shit up. Okay. If you were like uh, a big baby, mm -hmm. and you were gonna maybe like have a little kind of get a little upset, mm -hmm. like when you lose this game. Yeah, right. I'm not, like you could maybe put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is getting close. Right? <laughs> put, it, put it in your mouth. Just to Hold on, wait, whoa, whoa. Is this his fantasy? Uh, or is he describing no, no. the other game? Yeah. Maybe pacify yourself. Just a little bit. Oh. He's telling the truth. Oh, how do you like what? I he's don't telling know. the that's truth. That's silly. What? What? What do you bring me? He's about? absolutely telling the what? truth. What? Okay, he's 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 telling. How do you know? Does anyone have this in their mouth? No, no, it's, it's out of the bag. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys. Right. I think I think you killed me. Can I get some? Yeah, see what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Who keeps hitting their microphone? Yeah, I don't you know. See what I'm saying? You guys I'm are... in you. I'm in your soul, homie. I'm in your oh, soul. Oh, it must be his necklace. <laughs> his necklace oh, is oh, hitting oh, the mic. Oh, cry. I'm gonna cry. Thank you. 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 That's why you have discrete audio tracks so you can mitigate that sound and not have interference that is disruptive to the experience of watching your video. Anywho, that was a fun video. That's cute. I actually wish that they had done more games instead of talking about how amazing Netflix is because we already know how amazing Netflix is. Their stock is through the roof. It was already on the ascend when this movie came out and it's just at the highest it's ever been in Netflix's entire history. I actually enjoyed that movie. I know a lot of people took a massive dump on it, but like... <laughs> I, I know, I, but also I am one of those people that just genuinely loves the fantasy genre, so I thought it was exciting. I was excited by the initial exploration of being introduced to a semblance of this premise. Yeah, I like the world. I, I, I like I, the world. I, I liked a fraction of understanding the inception of the idea came from. So in a very aloof kind of way, I appreciate it a thousand percent, but... I know it's not a perfect yeah. movie. It's fine. Lots of words. Yes. In order to say, fuck that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It's not a good movie. The problem with it is it's clashing with too much. It makes you ask, well, but why with that? Too many times. Right. That's the problem with that movie. Now, that being said, I like the idea on the surface. I'm like, there's some, there's like a kernel of genius in there. If they had explored it better, I think it would have been good but it was sort of all over the place and the lore was just a mess. That was the problem with that film. I don't wanna talk about that, I wanna talk about this. I thought that Joel, Ed 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 how do you say his name? Edgerton. Edgerton. Joel Edgerton, he started to get into it towards the end, but it's like you can tell when they've done a lot of press junkets. Yeah. And I feel like Kenny Sebastian keeps getting the short end of the stick where it's like, all right, let's bring in the Indian guy. <laughs> like, after everyone else has had their turn. Now he's gotta come in and with with his you know chuckles and his jokes and whatnot and like, bring them back to life after they've already seen like 200 other press people who are all asking boring questions. Yeah. When, when Kenny Sebastian's bringing it, he's bringing the funny, he's bringing the good, and it feels like they're putting him at the end of the day, which sucks because he's actually bringing fun stuff. There's a lot of pressure there. Like I feel for Kenny Sebastian. I feel it's the same thing with Ashish Ch Chanchlani. Like he had to deal with the same thing. Yeah. Like he was, when we interviewed him, he's like, these are the, they told him, these are the questions you don't ask. And there was like three out of his five questions, right? So he had to just improvise on the fly. 
Now, that being said, I think Kenny Sebastian still did a pretty darn good job, given what I assume are the circumstances that he had to endure in order to get this video done. And I thought Will Smith had amazing energy as well. Considering all the things that you just said, I think Will Smith really brought it as well. You're not gonna believe me when I say this, but this is Will Smith low-key. Oh, really? Yes. Go watch his interview with MKBHD, which was shot at YouTube Space LA. I was there that day. I didn't see that interview happen. I was there after Will Smith did that interview uh -huh. because then he came out and he did a press conference for a bunch of influencers and whatnot and, and other press people. Were you there at the press conference? I, I was there at the press conference okay. for um, the one where he's got a, a young twin thing. Uh, oh, Gemini Man. Gemini Man. His energy's insane. You picture me after 12 cups of coffee and then add cocaine and then add Will Smith. <laughs> it's just like, Will Smith is so energetic. Okay. He's so energetic that you can't even measure him on a, a scale of energy. He's just so much. He basically carries the weight of everybody wow. because his energy is so strong to the point that he pissed off Clive Owen in front of me and I thought it was amazing. Because <laughs> he, he kept going, woo! <laughs> in Clive Owen's ear. <laughs> Clive Owen's like, I'm done with this guy. I'm so happy this movie's done. Um, no, but I'm, I'm obviously projecting a little bit, but Will Smith's energy is insane. So for it to be the end of the day and this is Will Smith's energy, I'm impressed. He's just got so much. Yeah, he's still cracking jokes and everything. Yeah. He's still super funny. Will Smith is one of those dudes, like if I could put his energy in an analogy, he's one of those guys that can run on the treadmill at 15 for two hours straight. That's just him. And I mean, it makes sense. That's why he's, that's part of why he's as big as he is because he carries that sort of spirit with him. Yeah. Whereas Joel was like, I am good. Yeah. But he still has some laughs and I think Kenny Sebastian managed to bring it out of him. Yeah. I like the little jokes he was doing towards the end. I wish that they had more time to do the games. You get like five minutes with these people. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So. I really liked Kenny Sebastian's t-shirt as well. I forgot what it said. Oh my God. Oh my God. They killed Kenny. <laughs> it was a South Park tea, and yeah. I was like, that was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, you guys, 